And now our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. At a number 90, the Everly Brothers. In the Rolling Stone magazine, Art Garfunkel wrote, Beginning with the Beatles and Simon and Garfunkel, every group for whom harmony singing is important, they owe crucial debt to the Everly Brothers. Their hits in the 50s and the early 60s seemed at once raw and pristine. When Art first heard the Everly's, he said, I learned that every syllable can shine. They were Kentucky guys with beautiful, perfect pitch harmonies and great diction. All those vowels and consonants, those S's and T's, every one of them killed me. Phil and Don Everly learned their own lessons from their great country tradition of family harmony singing. Dion says they had a blend that only brothers could have. But then, when Don would sing his solos on the bridges of those songs, oh my God, they would transport you. It was brilliant. Our song for today was a single released by the duo in 1958. It spent 15 weeks on the Billboard Hot 100. It peaked at number two. Our song is Problems, and like many of the Everly Brothers songs, written by the songwriting duo, the husband and wife team of Felice and Boudlow Bryant. Of course, Felice and Boudlow wrote almost 20 hit singles for the Everly Brothers. A couple of those scored high on the Billboard Hot 100, the pop, the country and western, and R&B list. Wake Up Little Susie and All I Have to Do is Dream both charted at number one in all three categories. And All I Have to Do is Dream charted at number one on all three charts at the same time. It's our continuing series on the 100 greatest singers of all time. And at number 90, the Everly Brothers. Problems, problems, problems all day long. Will my problems work out right or wrong? My baby don't like anything I do. My teacher seems to feel the same way. Let's 